The Defence Acquisition Council will meet on 23rd November to approve 33,000 crore rupees in indigenous deals, that includes four landing platform docks, 300 plus MR SAM missiles, and 1,000 Pinnaker rockets. Hyderabad based Ragu Vamsi has launched the Indra series of fully indigenous turbojet engines for drones and loitering munitions. The Indian Air Force will host COPE India 2025, a large scale air combat exercise with the US Air Force next month. The drills will feature fighter jets AWACS and aerial refuelers from both sides, focusing on air dominance tactics across multiple bases in India. Bharat Dynamics Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with PTC Industries Limited to create a joint venture company focused on the design development and manufacture of propulsion systems, guided bombs and small aero engines for missiles, UAVs and loitering munitions. Hal Chief has said that the integration of the Astra Mark 1 missile on the Tejas Mark 1A has stalled due to software restrictions tied to the Israeli radar. The issue stems from Israel Aerospace Industries' control over core radar code, delaying software approval, and pushing full operational clearance beyond 2025. Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited has emerged as the lowest bidder for the Indian Army's major UAV procurement, that includes 120 loitering munitions, 2,000 subtactical drones, and 720 FPV drones for frontline units. Pune-based drone Acharya has won a 1.09 crore rupees order from the Indian Army for the supply of 180 FPV drones, and the deliveries will begin in April 2026, followed by subsequent batches in July and October, each comprising 60 drones. The DRDO has enhanced the Astra Mark II missiles range from 160 km to over 200 km through improvements to its dual pulse rocket motor and advanced trajectory shaping. Trials are currently underway, with production expected by mid-2026, and induction before 2027. The Indian Navy is set to replace Israel's MF Star radar with the RDO developed long range multifunction radar on upcoming Project 18 destroyers. The indigenous Kalium Nitride based S band ACE radar features a massive 6 meter antenna, which is twice the size of Israeli MF Star, that will detect targets beyond 400 km, track over 200 threats and support both ballistic and cruise missile defense. India's plan to buy 114 fighter jets has hit a new snag, after the Defense Ministry found that the Indian Air Force has submitted an incomplete proposal. The Indian Air Force had recently submitted its statement of case for the MRFA project, but the Ministry of Defense has flagged missing details, mainly on local manufacturing and indigenization. Officials have said that talks will now resume with Dassault Aviation to address these gaps, and align the deal with the Make in India goals, as France had offered only 60% localization without source code. Dassault Aviation has offered to set up a full-scale assembly line and MRO hub in India, but issues over cost sharing and production responsibilities are still being discussed. While the Rafale remains the front-runner, the Ministry of Defence wants clear commitments on a 75% indigenization target, local production and industrial participation. The Indian Air Force Chief has confirmed full support for DRDO's Ghatak Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle Program. The CCS approval for $500 million in initial funding is expected by March 2026 to build four stealth prototypes with full-scale program cost exceeding $1 billion, that will cover further prototypes, test infrastructure, production tooling and pre-serial production units. Once inducted, production could push the total life cycle investment orders logistics and MRO beyond $3 billion. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, dropped it.